Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, today temperatures fell only in the lower 60s, but there may still be some rebels out there that want to get a late season swim in. Well, National Weather Service says tonight's not the night to do what they've issued one of their beach hazard alerts because of the threat of rip currents. The winds are kicking up and the undertow is forming. So don't try swimming tonight, whether it's Minnesota Point or Park Point. And it's not a great night for boating either along the North Shore or the South Shore. Weather Service has also issued a small craft advisory. So you may want to put that off for a little while longer. I know going out for a boat ride is probably more popular this time of year than actual swimming. But uh, with rain coming our way for a couple of days here, and conditions may not be good for even giving in an attempt. So we'll talk about when it might be fair enough weather to get out in the boat for one last go around. But right now we look at the current conditions at the airport in Duluth. Hey, the sensor's fixed. We've got the numbers back again. It's 52 degrees, 93 percent is the relative humidity. So closer to the lake especially, there's a chance for some fog like we saw with that live picture down south of Cloquet on I-35. Easterly, northeasterly wind right now is going seven miles per hour and the air pressure is a little bit low at 29.93 inches of mercury. Current temperatures around our area looking at 63s from Watersmeet to Ironwood, 50 to 65 degrees in northwestern Wisconsin, so cooler by the lake in Superior, warmer inland 65 at Hayward. 54 for Moose Lake, 52 two harbors right now, upper 50s around Ely and through the Hibbing Chisholm region towards Grand Rapids as well. Mid 60s for International Falls. So not everybody has the same cloud cover that folks along the lake have, but uh, getting onto the fringes of our area, it's a little bit sunnier and hence a little bit warmer. Doppler map right now shows clouds in the area for much of the region here and the wake of yesterday's low pressure system and the advance of one coming in from the west, which brings us a chance for rain for Friday and for Saturday. And now let's uh, take a look at how much rain we may get through at least the first half of the system. And this one may pay off better than last night's did. Even up north, we could get a quarter of an inch of rain and then about a half inch to an inch for the southern and central parts of our region. Taking a look at the forecast map here, yeah, for Friday and for Saturday, this low pressure system brings us roughly 50% chances for showers and maybe another couple rounds of thunderstorms like folks in Wisconsin had last night. So what do we get tonight in Minnesota? Well, the low temps should run from about 49 to 52 degrees and it'll be mostly cloudy, but should be dry. I think the moisture, enough moisture for precip is gone for now. Mostly cloudy Wisconsin, Michigan as well, lows in the 50s. Tomorrow warming up again, 70 to 75 for Wisconsin and for Michigan with a 40% rain chance beginning in the afternoon. 50% chance for the rain in Minnesota with highs going anywhere from 66 near International Falls to 74 down around Moose Lake. Here's our extended forecast and this brief warm up may be a brief one because you see a steady descent in temperatures for the next seven days starting at 70 Friday falling to 48 by next Thursday and in between rain chances Friday, Saturday, slight one coming on Sunday.